Hi, I'm Shauna, this is Shauna's World. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I focus on living well, physically, mentally and spiritually. I haven't made a video in a while. I've had a lot going on. Um, and I just kind of wanted to come on and do a bit of a life update and share some very exciting news, which has been on my radar for a long time, um, but it hasn't been the right time to share it and there's been a lot going on. Now I feel like I can share it and put it out into the world and um, yeah, excited to bring that to you all. Um, and also a lot of my YouTube content I'm gonna be planning over the next year or so is gonna be related to this news. So hopefully you'll be every bit as excited as I am. So my very exciting news is that next year I'm going to be taking a sabbatical. So I work, I haven't really talked about my job on my YouTube, um, I work as a fundraiser in a charity and I really like what I do, I love the charity I work for so much but it's also quite emotionally draining, um, we're reading about difficult things all day and yeah it does take its toll and it's really hard to process and it like grinds you down a bit um, and I found myself just struggling with my emotions more disengaging from things I used to be really engaged with just because I've gotten a bit beaten down by all the awful news and stuff from war zones and the places that the charity works. Um, so yeah I decided I want to take a sabbatical and this sabbatical has gone through lots of iterations so I originally wanted to take one in 2019 and I'd have it, had it approved. I was planning to do an expedition running the length of Japan um, but for various reasons, including me ending up spending two months in a trauma clinic and just generally needing to look after my mental health, it wasn't the right time and it didn't happen. Um, but I always told myself when, it, when I was ready, I would take a sabbatical. And, um, and now I'm in a position to. Um, so this has actually changed what I'm gonna do very recently. Basic, oh, I'm wandering through the mud. <laughs> Um, yeah, so um, the first thing I'm going to do on my sabbatical is hike the Israel National Trail. And this is something I've wanted to do for a while. I've been to Israel before, found it fascinating, found, found the people amazing and went to Palestine and just learning about the conflict, the culture and the nature, all of that. It's a really amazing place. Um, and my friend Bex, who's at the Ordinary, Ordinary Adventurer, she walked the Israel National Trail a few years ago and she's just had a book come out about it, about her experiences, which is really good. Three Stripes South, check it out. Um, but since, since I met her, I've just thought it sounded so amazing. I didn't know about it before and it spans the whole length of the country. A thousand kilometers goes from like through mountains and desert, three weeks in the desert, um, really amazing. So originally when I decided I wanted to hike the Israel National Trail, the plan was to do it alone. Um, but then I ended up in a relationship and we were gonna do it together. We were both gonna take a sabbatical together and hike together starting April and May next year. It takes about two months to do. Uh, but basically in the last few weeks, my relationship ended, which was 100% the right thing. Um, but obviously it's still hard and it's sad. Yeah, um, so I'm having to rethink my plans and going back to the idea of doing it alone, I didn't necessarily feel comfortable with it when I thought through it. And I think the main thing is I had a blip with my mental health earlier in the year where my psychosis came back and it was completely unexpected. And the only thing that helps me in those situations is talking to someone and like having support and someone to convince me that it's all in my head and it's not real. And just the thought of the, the tiny, tiny possibility of being alone in the desert and that happening, just, I couldn't, I just, yeah, I, I can't, I can't do it. So my plan now is to push the time frame back to the autumn so I have more time to find people to hike with but rather than finding someone to do the whole thing with me, because mainly I'm not a massive people person and I think I'd struggle to find many people I'd be happy to spend two months solid with. Um, so my plan is to reach out to lots of women who might be interested in hiking the trail for a week or 10 days or a couple of weeks and doing it with different women for different sections of the trail. And I think that would be a really amazing thing to do to share it with different people, but also from, from what my friend Beck said, 
not many women hiked the trail. She only met one other woman on the, woman on the trail. And I think it would just be nice to bring lots of different women to the trail to the hike. Um, and it'd be really nice to have people to share it with. And I might not have people with me the entire time. I know that might not work out, but I feel like if I have people to share it with enough of the time, I think it'll be good for everyone. So that's my plan. Maybe starting October, September, October of 2022. Okay, I'm a little bit all over the place with the narrative at the moment of what was gonna happen and what is gonna happen. Um, but originally I came up with the idea for the sabbatical when I was doing my breathwork facilitator training. And at the time I was thinking with all the stress of work and stuff that maybe I wanted to make breathwork my full-time job and my, my primary income. And then the plan was after the Israel National Trail to focus on my breathwork business, on my YouTube and see if I could turn that into a sustainable career, which I knew was a long shot. It's still, I, I was still only planning to take nine months off and it's a long, to, uh, it's a, and it's not a lot of time to build a business in, but I thought I got to give it a go because I was really overwhelmed with everything. And I love breathwork. Um, since then, I actually am feeling a lot more settled at work and I'm really loving my job again and feeling really grateful for it, grateful for the people I work with and just making sure I'm prioritising my mental health because that's the one thing, like, it is, a, it is a job that can grind you down a bit. But yeah, mostly it's amazing. So I don't feel like that's something I want to do anymore, but I do want to build up my breathwork and YouTube so that it's a, a little bit of income as a side hustle. But I've also been doing breath work on the side and I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, I haven't run loads of sessions with people. It's not like I'm making mint off it, um, but I've, I've been doing all right. And I also realize I do it because I love it. I really love doing it. It's like, it's not something I want to be like hustling for money over. I want it to be something I enjoy doing and but not something I need to rely on so that it becomes a stress. So original sabbatical plan, but after Israel, I was just gonna stay home and work on hustling, hustling, hustling on my breath work and YouTube. Um, but actually, and especially now I've had my breakup and have a bit more flexibility to travel. Um, I think I'm gonna go somewhere that's like really cheap to live, like Thailand and stay there and kind of work on my YouTube, work on my breath work, but not make it like a super, pressured environment um, and I kind of want to go somewhere I, I'm undecided it's a while away but um, I think I want to go somewhere where I can do like a fitness camp like a boxing camp or a or like a hit camp where I can do a lot of training and a lot of fitness and then spend hours a day making YouTube videos and running online breathwork sessions and stuff like that um, so yeah just kind of living a bit of that digital nomad lifestyle but kind of a bit more fun where it's not so pressured to make money and I can just kind of have the best of both worlds a bit. And then the other plan is to go out to New Zealand and I don't know if this will be possible because they're very strict on COVID regulations and I don't know if they'll have opened up, but my best friend Kathy is in New Zealand and she, she moved there a year ago, maybe a bit more than a year ago. Um, she's been traveling, I haven't seen her in two years when she came back for a wedding, so she's been traveling long term and it would be amazing and New Zealand somewhere I've always wanted to go it's like my paradise ideal destination but I always thought when I go I want it to be a time when I can go for like a few weeks or a month not just a two-week holiday so it seems like the perfect opportunity New Zealand's obviously a very high cost of living country um, but I'm hoping to go for a month maybe even two we'll see how it wangles and then originally as well my plan was to go and compete at the gay games in Hong Kong, which is kind of like a queer, super inclusive Olympics where you don't have to be good at anything. Everyone can compete. I'd probably come last in things and that's okay. Um, and I was gonna do the 5K there um, and really work on training my 5K times and getting my times down, which I have been working on a bit. But 
that was supposed to be in November 2022 but that's actually because of Covid and maybe other reasons um, been postponed to 2023 so that won't fall into my sabbatical but I do hope to go on annual leave um, the following year um, so yeah I think that means I can reduce the length of time I take on my sabbatical so now I'm hoping to take seven months so it'd be two months hiking Israel maybe like give or take a week um, and then a month or two in New Zealand seeing my friend and then two two maybe three months in Thailand doing loads of sport and working on my business and then a month at home just to re-assimilate and get my head together before going back to work so it sounds pretty dreamy it's obviously a lot of saving to get to that point the money is the biggest part so I, I, I actually want to share on here some of my journey with how I'm saving and budgeting for it because I, I am in a very privileged position where I can save quite a lot every month because of living on the boat and various other things but yeah I just yeah if you would be interested in seeing um, how I'm managing to take seven months off work and still pay all my expenses and travel let me know in the comments and I will make videos on that as well I want to be sharing other parts of my journey too like kind of what gear I'm getting for Israel and um, how I'm planning how all of it all of it so if there's anything you want to see in relation to um, getting ready for a sabbatical let me know because um, I haven't been making videos much and I would like to make more also while I'm doing a life update and this is a bit unrelated um, but I still am excited to share it I have now taken on a breathwork apprentice and I'm training her up to become a facilitator so I've just started on that and we've been working together only for a week but we'll be working together over the next six months and I'll be taking her through the process I went through to become a facilitator and it'll still be supported by my teacher who's got more experience but it's it's a real honor to kind of support someone through that journey and she's an amazing person and it's something yeah I'm hoping to do more of and yeah I really have fallen in love with facilitating breath work and I, I've known that for a while and I've always really enjoyed it but I ran some sessions at a retreat recently and it was with people pretty much no one had done breath work before and I, it made me realize those are the people I want to reach the people who you know aren't aren't like massively in the healing and spiritual world and just are everyday people struggling with what they're struggling with and need some release because I think it's often the people who expect to have the benefits the least who reap the most benefits from it um, and just what happened in that space at that retreat was so magical and yeah it was a real honor to hold space for people going on some quite powerful journeys um and yeah i just want more of that more more kind of being together in a room and, and i'm finding myself needing connection more than i have before and i'm facilitating breath work is a beautiful way to do that because it's not in your face it's just people together in a room sharing energy and i really like that I've also, I've been working with a business coach, Charlotte, who is helping me get set up with breath work. And it's an amazing process, both for kind of overcoming limiting beliefs. And I really struggle with imposter syndrome and kind of my self-esteem can be quite crappy sometimes. And then also really practical sides of things. So the work I need to do to kind of work out who my audience is, who I'm talking to, how to market and that kind of thing I find really hard and and sometimes a bit uncomfortable even though I really believe in what I'm offering and I know it can help people but she's really supporting me through that and and we're doing a skill swap so I'm giving her breath work in exchange for coaching and it's a really nice arrangement and something I probably wouldn't be able to access otherwise and yeah I feel like I can feel myself sort of stepping into my power a little bit more because of that still still lots of limiting beliefs still lots of challenges but we're all human aren't we and I think that's to be expected so I think that's all I have to tell you in terms of life update the sabbatical is the main thing that's the big huge life news that I wanted to share and that will pave the way for this channel for a little bit and I had to keep it secret for so long. I've known for ages, but work didn't want me to tell anyone for ages. So I'm very excited about that. Thank you so much for watching and bearing with my slightly rambly video. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.
thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye!